X Hot for warm ups. Welcome to Supers Live. It's the Super Modified Ultimate Pavement Racing Series season finale from Madeira Speedway. It's the 14th annual Summit Classic 125, 125 lap Super Modified Sim Racing event. And we're ready to rock and roll here. The field was set last night via time trials, and it's the closest starting field in Summit 125 history. And it is so close, in fact, that only one half of one second separates first from eighth starting position. And it was so close in time trials last night, just one one thousandth of a second separates pole sitter Bob Gangwer from outside front row uh, starter Joe Oxett. We've got several states represented here tonight, including Indiana, New York, Ohio, and Massachusetts, as well as Michigan, with Carl Bonsai Becker. Well, a big history-making event here tonight as we round out our 14th season. Rob Warren has a shot at tying his own record of 15 wins in a season. And uh, if he does so, that would be quite a feat, as uh, that is the most wins any driver has had in fifteen year, or 14 years of competition at Supers. Last night, also, the qualifying heat races happened, and uh, you can see all of the qualifying show via our Twitch channel on the replay, uh, unedited, on-demand replay via Twitch. Uh, just go to twitch.tv slash supers online if you're watching on supers.net. And if you're watching on supers, uh, supers uh, Twitch channel, well, just go to our video uh, tab at the top. If you're watching either place, let us know where you're watching it from tonight. We're so glad that you could join us here. Uh, it's warm in the Midwest right now, but I guarantee it's not as nice as it would be in California right now in the Central Valley at Madera Speedway. Madera Speedway, the home of the West Coast Super Modifieds, racing the Vukovic Classic this weekend, honoring all of the Vukovic, Vukovic family uh, through Billy the First to Billy the Third. So, by virtue of their guaranteed starting positions, Rob Warren. Keith Powell and Steve Callahan filled out the field after qualifications last night. Didn't have to run the heat race. Nelson Rodriguez was the winner of the 10-lap heat race last night at the Summit Classic 125 preliminaries. Uh, the cars are on track right now for their final warm-up. Yeah, guys getting dialed in for the start of this 125-lapper, and it's quite an event for sure. As we said, Rob Warren has 15 wins this season. Steve Callahan, the next closest, with nine. And then several guys with two or three uh, wins as well. And it's just been a, 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 um, a lot of records broken this year, including Derek Backus winning the Star Classic, the Supers All-Star Classic, leading all 200 laps, the first time it's ever been done since that race has been around. Uh, Rob Warren uh, joining Elite Company as a uh, multi-time Terry Gibson Memorial winners. Just the list goes on and on. Steve Callahan winning the, uh, setting a new record for most Billy Vukovic classic wins. It's been a fantastic season, and we're going to wrap it up here tonight from Madeira Speedway. Fans, if you need to know more about Super Modified Racing and what we're all about here, you need to go to supers.net, click that About tab, and you're going to learn about the ultimate short track race car. 1,850 pounds, radically offset, open cockpit, open wheel, tubular frame chassis machines uh, that are just like nothing else you'll ever see. And as I said, you'll be able to watch Super Modifieds if you're in the area this weekend at Madeira Speedway with the Vukovic Classic. Uh, the the East Coast and Midwest seasons getting rolling here in uh, mid and late May. And Colorado also getting rolling uh, out uh, uh, the guys from the ERA getting rolling out at I-25 Speedway in Colorado uh, very quickly as well. Uh, you can watch them weekly at Lee USA Speedway and Star Speedway with the 350 Supers. Well, folks, uh, it's that time of night as we get ready to roll here uh, to say thank you to all of our veterans and uh, all of those currently serving. And we honor them because without them, we could never do what we do here.
And it's uh, the month of May, and certainly we think uh, to those men and women that lost their lives in service through the United States Armed Forces uh, to, to keep us a free country. So much going on around the world right now. It's a perfect time to stop and give pause and remember those that uh, have gone before us and, and those that are currently serving. We would like to honor them tonight with the playing of our national anthem. Well, again, thanks so much.